Hello, I haven't done a video for a while, so I thought I'd give you an update on how things are going with me at the moment and um, what I've been up to this year. Well, it's been quite a year, as it has been for, for a lot of you. Um, I've been looking for work. Um, I'm on adoption leave at the moment and I was um, needing to find a job um, because I no longer wanted to do fostering. And I got offered a job uh, working with a fostering agency and um, I just didn't feel like it was the, the right direction for me anymore. I wanted to pursue the gardening thing really so I turned it down which seemed really crazy at the time because you know in the current climate jobs aren't easy to come by um, and I really wrangled with it. I really I found it really hard and I felt guilty for turning it down because uh, at the end of the day we need to pay our mortgage and it just but it just didn't feel right so um, I closed the door on it um, and then about a few days later another job came up um, working at a garden centre um, at, at Trenton Gardens um, working with the house plants so I decided I'd give that one a go because it was still horticultural um, it's at the weekends so it fits around childcare and it also helps me, um, well, frees up my week, really. So I got the job for the garden centre. I'm really enjoying that. And I'm learning lots of new things. Uh, but it, I'm also uh, now a self-employed gardener. I've set up my own business called Natalie's Blooms, um, which is doing really well considering the time of year. It's uh, Obviously, it's, it's slow, um, but I'm still getting business most weeks. Um, and working at the weekends gives me the time um, sort of in the week to, to do it to basically get the business going really um, so that's what I've been doing with my weeks I'm really enjoying gardening it doesn't feel like work really and it's not a stressful job either job the gardening or working at the garden centre they're not stressful the the physically demanding um, you know, there's lots of bending and lifting and, uh, you know, it's hard work physically, but mentally the stress, there's just no stress and I'd much rather um, have no stress in a job and be happier and I'm really, really, really enjoying it. In terms of training, I've been working on some um, online courses. Um, I've achieved three uh, diplomas so far. They're not uh, accredited diplomas, but um, I've achieved three so far, which is garden maintenance, uh, horticulture and uh, landscaping. Um, and I've now moved on to a, another um, non-accredited uh, diploma, which is also garden maintenance and landscaping. Um, I'm just working my way through that. And I've also got a couple of courses, which is um, different type, like different styles of gardening. Um, which should be really interesting, uh, which I will also be doing. I still plan to do my um, RHS um, Level 2 Diploma next year. I'm living in hope that I'll be able to get it for free because Boris Johnson mentioned about retraining for free. So I'm kind of holding out hope and um, hoping that I'll be able to get that done um, for no cost. But if, if I have to pay for it, that's that's fine uh, but I'm just going to see what I can whether I can get that done or not so I'm going to do that next year um, I've still got my name down for a retraining scheme um, which would be two days a week uh, nothing has come up yet uh, I've got to basically wait for uh, availability in a local garden somewhere um, but you know if that was to come up then I would gladly take it because I'm wanting to learn as much as I can especially practically, I learn much better practically. Um, I've also been volunteering uh, one day a week at Dorothy Clive Gardens, and I'm thoroughly enjoying that as well, and there's some really lovely people that volunteer there uh, and work there, and it's such a lovely uh, team and a great atmosphere, so I'm thoroughly enjoying that. So I've been really throwing myself into it all. Uh, I've got a bit of an addiction to buying plants, I've bought loads of plants for the garden and now that it's getting colder I've moved to the indoors and I'm buying lots of house plants um, and I've lost count of how many I've got um, but I, I 
I've got nowhere to put any more now, so I need to stop buying plants. Um, so yeah, I, you know, if I'd have said to myself all oh, this was going to happen in January, I would never have believed it. Um, but I'm thoroughly enjoying it, and I'm hoping that uh, things will continue to grow for me. Um, whether that's continuing with a self-employed gardening or whether that's getting a job in a garden somewhere or, you know, I'm, I'm open to to anything really. But I'm really chuffed that I decided to pursue the horticulture rather than going with what I know, which is childcare. Uh, but I feel like that that's, I've run, I've run the course with it now. I feel like I've done it for so many years. Um, I feel like I'm ready for a change now. So... Uh, I'm going to look after plants instead of children. So that's where I'm at at the moment. So I'll keep you updated if there's any changes um, afoot. But uh, yes.